Let's look at how to use random, random between, and random float in the code editor for generating random numbers. These random numbers can then be used in different things methods. What I have set up is an on click function that will make the chair spin with different rotational velocity on the Y axis. I'm going to be assigning the random value to a variable here, and then using that variable in the thing methods. Starting with the random function, this method returns an integer between one and the specific value indicated as an argument, in this case, the max. And so right now we can see that the code works. I've just assigned a direct value as 50. I preview, I click on the swivel chair, and I have a printout of what random variable is assigned to. It is 50, and then we can see that the chair is rotating. It stops after five seconds because of what I've set. Now, let's replace 50 with this random number. And so uh, I will type random, and then I can type in the value that I want to do. And so let's just do between one and 100. And so random takes into account the lowest value, one, and it's always one. And then the number that you put in is the highest value, in this case, 100. So if I uh, click preview again, we can see that now that value is 80. We can see if I click it again, that value is now 78. And so we're generating a new number every time we click and then applying it to the start spin method because of the variable here. Now, if you want to have a range that doesn't start as one, we have random between. And random between adds a second argument, a minimum value, and then max, which is very similar to the same value before. So it's the low end and the high end of your range. And so if we need to specify this specific range, what we can do is just say random between and then set our low value, let's make it 100, and comma, then our second value or our max value, 200. And so when I preview and then click on the chair, you can see that that value is now at 119. If I click it again, you can see it's 113. If I click it again, it's 160. And so now our range is between 100 and 200 and we're just dealing with whole numbers. If you need to get even more specific, we can use the random float option. And the reason that this is more specific is because it allows you to have decimals. And so a floating point value is a uh, particular data type that just means a decimal number. And so it's a little bit more complicated, but definitely gives you some very finite details in order to implement. So let's start with random float and Let's just see what happens whenever we add in just random float. Uh, if we click preview and we click on the chair, we see that we get a decimal value, but it's between, it starts with a zero. Let's try it again. So we're getting all of these numbers between zero and one. And so the random float gives you the decimal part and we can add some additional features or additional numbers in order to get the range that we are looking for. And so the first thing that you want to do is you can adjust the range. The default range is zero to one. And so in order to make it a larger range, you would multiply random float by the range that you want. And so what I mean by that is if you want a hundred number range, you would take random float and multiply it by 100. Now, whenever you do this, we'll actually only get, um, numbers between zero and 100. And so if you want to start at a specific number, and so this would kind of be like your minimum value, uh, you would add that particular number. And so if we wanted to start with 200, we could add 200 and then the range, which is what is multiplied by random float, that would uh, be 100. And so this would give us a range between 200 and 300. And so when we click preview, we should be able to see that the number is 225, the number is 243, 266. And so we can see that the additional attributes being multiplied and added to random float are what really give you 
the you know the specific controls specifically in the decimal area. Now that you know this, you can start to implement random, random between, and random float to add the power of unpredictability with the magic of random numbers.